Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your third C Sharp Mono Game RPG tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be doing some XML serialization and if you guys have never done XML serialization before this is pretty cool and if you have done it before then it's still pretty cool I don't know but uh, yeah let's just get started so in this tutorial I'm gonna be just getting the code done and in the next tutorial I'm gonna be getting in depth into some XML serialization topics since I've never taught it in any one of my tutorials so anyways let's get started uh, I'm gonna name this class XML manager I don't really care what you want to call it but this is where we're going to be doing the serialization. Now, the class is going to be a generic class type, meaning that uh, we can define the type of it once we declare it. And there's two namespaces that we want to include. There's the XML serialization namespace, and there's the input output namespace. So firstly we want to have a variable called type that will have a public get and a private set and we are going to have a load method that's going to return type uh, generic type and we're going to make a uh, we're going to use a text reader to open up a stream reader and uh, we're gonna pass in the path now within this scope we're going to make an instance variable of whatever type that we have and then we are going to uh, make a XML serialize uh, the XML serializer variable and we're gonna pass in our type okay and last but not least we're gonna make a call to uh, we're gonna say instance is equal to XML deserialize and our stream is the reader last but not least we will return the instance and we are done so doesn't really look like we're done so this has to go outside and either I'm missing something or I'm missing something uh, so oh exactly so we got to convert it to a type T to whatever generic type that we've had so uh, we're also gonna use this a save method we're not gonna be using this anytime soon but might as well implement it now and in the save method we're going to be using the text writer this time because we're writing to a file I will call this writer and we're gonna do it to a stream writer and we're gonna pass in the path okay so in here we're gonna make a XML serializer instance like we did before and we're gonna pass in the type and we are going to make a call to XML serialize and we're gonna serialize the writer there and we're gonna pass in the object so we gotta take in one more parameter call object and we'll call it obj okay so that's simple enough and what this is really gonna do is that we're with the load we're gonna take this our the stuff from our XML file we're gonna load it in and for the save we're gonna save our classes or whatever back into an XML file so with that being said let us see it in action now I stated in the last tutorial that this had significance and we're gonna see it in action right now so we're gonna make it public so we're gonna change this to an uppercase and we don't need this anymore so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load we're actually gonna load the path from an XML file so 
what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this load and I'm going to add in a brand new XML file so scroll all the way down to XML file and let's call this XML file splash screen splash screen okay so in here we can, we're gonna put splash screen and we're gonna put path and the path is going to be splash screen dot slash image one and if you guys have no idea what XML serialization is about don't worry it's all gonna be explained in the next tutorial so uh, what you want to do is at least just get the code done so uh, it'll be easier to explain in the next tutorial so now that I've gotten that done we're gonna pass the path into here and then we're going to draw it like so so to start things off what we have to do in our screen manager is for our current screen we have to actually load in load in some stuff so what we're gonna do is make a call to XML manager I'm gonna pass in game screen I'm gonna call I'm gonna name it XML game screen manager and in in here I will say uh, the type is going to be equal to our current screens type so in order to get that what we're going to do is we're going to go to our game screen and we're going to create a constructor and we're going to have a type variable a public type and let's just put XML ignore there so we gotta include this serialization namespace so we've gotten that done and we're gonna say type is equal to this dot get type okay so that's simple enough so what that's gonna do is that whatever class we have it's gonna pass in that type to it so that's pretty much self-explanatory so what we have to do now is go back to the screen manager so what our current screens type is of is a splash screen type so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say XML game screen manager is equal to new and we'll say the type is equal to current screen dot type so it's gonna be set to that and we're gonna say current screen is equal to XML manager dot load and we're gonna load our splash screen dot XML so that is set up and oh yeah we never put a set accessor so what we're gonna do is we'll just make it get set or just make it public okay so now that we've gotten that set up uh, we're gonna load the XML contents load into this current screen and we should see the exact same images as we saw last tutorial but sadly we don't and the reason being is that our output path is different than our regular path and what we want to do is go to our project and properties we want to go to build and just make our output path the same as our regular path so we can get rid of that and we can run this again and voila we got the same thing so the difference is that instead of us having to place a path we loaded the path from the XML file now uh, I'm not sure if you guys have gotten the gist of XML serialization, but there's still other things that I have to explain to you, which I will explain in the next tutorial if you are a newbie to XML serialization. XML serialization is fairly simple. You should be able to get a firm grasp on it with just one tutorial. So I'm looking forward to the next tutorial to really show you guys the gist of it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys at least took a little something from it. 
And after the next tutorial, everything will be clarified and then we'll get on to newer and better things in the next few tutorials. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.